Hi, I'm Ashley Iovine, and here's what's happening at TCU today. The Pittsburgh Steelers and the Green Bay Packers will be coming to Arlington in the next couple weeks for warmer weather and for Super Bowl 45. The Packers, who have TCU football alum Marshall Newhouse on their roster, beat the Chicago Bears 21-14 to win the NFC Championship title. The Steelers followed by winning the AFC title after beating the New York Jets 24-19. The Steelers will be using the TCU practice facilities to prepare for the big game. TCU men and women tennis teams are off to a great season after their season openers this weekend. The women, who shut out University of Texas Pan American, won straight sets and singles and won all three doubles matches. The men opened their season with a pair of 2-1 wins following a doubleheader against the University of Texas at Arlington and the University of Texas Pan American. The women's next matchup will be in Berkeley, California at the ITA kickoff weekend on January 28th. The men's will be on January 29th at home against Texas A&M Corpus Christi. After losing to Utah on Saturday, the men's basketball team drops to the bottom of the Mountain West Conference. The Frogs now have a 10-11 and regular season record and a 1-5 and conference record. Their next game is Wednesday in Albuquerque against the University of New Mexico. Head coach Jim Christian said the team will be ready to face the Lobos. Students and alumni alike met at the Robert Carr Chapel earlier today to discuss wedding myths and the latest marriage trends. Chapel coordinator Brittany Smith and wedding planner Kristen Knight held the event called Wedding Bells on Campus in order to give those interested ideas for their own special day. They also offered floral arrangements and door prizes and free samples of wedding cake. So whether people went for their love of weddings, their love of historic chapel, or simply the love of food, everyone seemed to have a good time. The College of Fine Arts is currently looking for a replacement for the director of the School of Art, who will retire at the end of this semester. Ronald Watson, the current director, said he plans on working in his studio full-time after retiring. The search committee has zeroed in on three applicants, and they are now checking references. That's the news for today. I'm Ashley Iovine. Have a great week.